हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री लेक्चर अगेन द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडेज डिस्कशन इज एरिथ्रो एंड थ्रियो नोम क्लेचर दिस नोम क्लेचर इज बेस्ड ऑन फोर कार्बन एल्डोज सुगर्स डी एरिथ्रोस एंड डी थ्रियोस If you look at the Fischer projection formula of d erythros and d thrios, the two chiral centers are different, and the two different substituents CHO and CH2OH are on the vertical lines. In erythros, the two hydroxyl groups are on the same side and the two hydrogen atoms are on the same side too in thrios the two hydroxyl groups are on opposite sides as are the h atoms if you have a system like rxyc c x z r prime you can apply this nomenclature for drawing erythro diastereomer draw an a skeleton for the fischer projection put groups r and r prime on the vertical lines same groups x on one side and y and z on the other side where y and z may be same or different for drawing three u diastereomer draw an a skeleton for fischer projection put r and r prime on the vertical lines two same groups x on opposite sides and y and z on opposite sides too from these structures we can see that erythro and thrio are not mirror images and thus these are two diastereomers now we are going to take the example of 3 bromo 2 propanol there are two chiral centers so there will be four stereo isomers two erythro and two thrio diastereomers each diastereomer will have two enantiomers for drawing an erythro diastereomer draw an skeleton for the fischer projection and you can put either same or different groups on the vertical line let's put ch3 on the vertical lines now put both the h on the left and oh and br on the right the second erythro isomer will be its enantiomer like this for drawing one of the two thrio isomers draw an skeleton for the fischer projection put methyl groups on the vertical lines one h on the left and other on the right now put oh on the right and br on the left the second thrio isomer will be its enantiomer like this Let's take the example of ephedrine. For drawing an erythro diastereomer, draw an skeleton for the Fischer projection and put methyl and phenyl on the vertical lines. Put both the hydrogen atoms on the left and OH and NHME on the right. the second erythro isomer will be its enantiomer like this for drawing 
one of the two Trio isomers, draw an skeleton for the Fischer projection, put methyl and phenyl, phenyl group on the vertical lines, one H on the left and other on the right. Now put OH on the right and NHME on the left. The second Trio isomer will be its enantiomer like this. Now let's have two examples A and B to find whether they are erythro or trio. Till now whatever we have learned about erythro and trio isomers molecules were represented by Fischer projection. We know that in a Fischer projection formula molecules are in eclipse conformation. The given molecules are in staggered conformation. So, in a staggered conformation, the definition will be reverted. Means, in erythro, same lateral atoms or groups on the two chiral centers will be on opposite sides. While, in trio, same lateral atoms or groups will be on the same side. Let's first put missing hydrogens in A and B. In structure A, two hydrogen atoms are, in the, on, are on the same side, so it is 3O. In structure B, both the hydrogen atoms are in the opposite side, so it is erythro. Let's take the example of hydrogenation of a prochiral alkene generating saturated molecules with two chiral centers. Here we have to find whether the products will be erythro or trio. Palladium catalyzed hydrogenation is a syn addition means the two hydrogen atoms add to the same face of the double bond. In the given alkene there are two faces of double bond with equal probability for the addition of hydrogen. Hydrogenation from above the plane of the molecule will give structure A while addition from below the plane of the alkene will give structure B. Both A and B are in eclipsed conformation and in both A and B the two deuterium atoms are on the same lateral side. So these are erythro isomers. If we rotate structure B through 180 degrees in the plane, we can see that A and B are enantiomers. So we can say that these are erythro enantiomers. Let's take the example of bromination of the same alkene. Bromination of an alkene is an example of anti-addition. Means the bromine atoms will attack from the two opposite faces of the alkene. If attack occurs like this, it will give product A. If attack occurs like this, it will give product B. A and B are in staggered conformation with the same lateral deuterium atoms on the same side. So these are 3O isomers. If we rotate a structure B 180 degrees in the plane, we can see that A and B are in enantiomers. So we can say that A and B are 3O in enantiomers.